Hello everyone and welcome back to 1.17 Survival Let's Play. As you might have noticed, 1.18 just released a few days ago and I'm super excited to explore all the new terrain generation and everything else in the update with you guys. Unfortunately, that means that we have to actually stop the series here. So this will be the last episode of this series. But we did so much in this world and we also have done so many buildings and so many achievements as well. Stay tuned for my next episode as I actually have a big surprise to tell you guys. And it will be super duper fun to actually implement into the world. But yeah, let's get on with the world tour and I hope you enjoyed this last episode of my 1.17 survival let's play. Starting with the world tour, we have our starter house and I love this building so much and it basically brings me back to my humble beginnings where I only had a few materials to actually use for this building. But we have some copper, deep slates, calcite, diorites and some dark oak variants. We also have some bricks coming on along to the right side of the house right now. But yeah, pretty good build in total. Over here we have our entrance to the down area. Yep, I call it the down area. And we use amethyst blocks for this place. And Actually, it's a pretty simple build in my opinion, but it is pretty good. So yeah, that's the entrance. Now over here we have our map and storage building. And this building, I added some extra details to it because I thought, why not add some extra details? Because it looks pretty good. And this is also another quite interesting building because of the fact that it actually is hanging down from the mountainside. I did not change the terrain or anything. But yeah, let's go inside. So inside is what you usually find inside of a storage building. All of the chests labeled with all of the items stored inside of it. We also have some maps over here. Episode 1, Episode 9 and a new map that we're going to be making today. Now to our starter house interior. We have our furnace area, we have barrels, our lovely flower inside of a item frame. We also have some chests over here. And I did use them for a little bit, but we also have our bed right here. We have our first stone pickaxe, the first iron pickaxe, and first wooden pickaxe. And we also have a painting, and there is nothing behind this painting, by the way. Even if you crouch, there's absolutely nothing behind this painting. Moving on to the down area, we have our other entrance, which is an exact replica of the entrance above. And again, pretty easy and pretty simple. Now over here, we have our mine entrance, which I love the crane so much. I mean, look at how great it is. It looks like it's actually pulling things from out of the ground, which I think is a pretty good feature to add to a crane. If you ever build a crane. Now over here, we have our mine entrance and I forgot to show you, um, the roof is made out of copper, as you can see. And inside this mine entrance, we have some a few things. We have our chests. And I haven't used them, but we I did use the furnaces the other day. So we have nine furnaces. And down here, I didn't really decorate the place, so I don't really have anything to show down there. But all you need to know is that down there, it's just strip mines and strip mines galore. That's all you need to know. There's absolutely nothing down there. Now over here is our enchanting place and look at how great the tree stump looks. I was looking at some tree houses and some trees and it actually got me thinking, why not build a tree stump in Minecraft? And I think it looks so overgrown and so, so good. And it looks so organic as well. And I'm pretty proud of this building. And don't worry, I did mop proof it. So into the enchanting tree, we have our enchanting table. We have some books, we have our candles bookshelves obviously we have some lapis and some of my old armor and some other enchanted books but yeah this is pretty good build now down here i actually did show this a few episodes in it is my entrance to my skeleton spawner xp farm and i use moss for the top of this building and i love the type of moss that i used it's just so organic and it doesn't actually hint that there actually is a mob spawner down here. But if we go all the way down this ladder, which is a very long way by the way, we go into our XP farm, which is over here. 
Now, skeletons will actually spawn inside of here, and this is tinted glass, which basically means that inside is totally dark except from that area down there, and we can basically see inside of it and it isn't dark. But actually, it's a pretty cool feature. Now, down here we have our chests, which I actually never used. We also have some furnaces, crafting tables, smokers, blast furnaces, anvils, grindstones, and some flower pots with a lily of the valley inside of them. And over here we have our collection area. So we have some bones, bows, arrows, and armor. We also have some more in here as well. And I was a-okaying a little bit over the past few days, and that's why there's so much stuff inside of it. But let's just go head back to the service. Now over to our farming area. I love this area so much and look at this well. So I was looking at some medieval wells inspired on the internet and I found this well which I really liked. And as you can see the water actually is infinite by what I'm doing right here. And I like to use that for all my farms and everything. But yeah that's the well guys. Now over here we have our cow and sheep pen, and I love how it actually looks as the sheep have the outside area. Hi sheep! We also have a pond for the sheep to go inside, and this is all the wool that I have, by the way. And yeah, the sheep are just roaming around. Now here is our cow place, and why are you all in one corner? Okay, this is kind of awkward. Um... Yeah, it looks like all my cows are actually stuck in one corner. Um, why, why are you in one corner? Th th this is not safe. Okay, anyways, aside from the cows which are stuck for some reason, we have our chicken coop, which is one of my favorite areas of this farming area, as it has the lovely chickens inside, and you know how I love chickens. We have a composter, a chest, we have our seeds, and yeah one chicken did um accidentally go but yeah we have some eggs as well hi chicken so over here we have our area which is like a cobblestone kind of area which is like surrounds the chickens inside of this chicken pen but yeah let's just leave because that chicken wants to get out and i'm not gonna let it get out okay hello cow anyways on to our windmill and farm area so I know I call this area the farm area, but this is the actual farm area. So I did make a little bit of a changes since our last time that we were here. I have made a path all the way down to the carrot field. If you go all the way back up, we have more wheat fields, just like so. And it just makes it much more easier to walk up and down. Now over here we have our potato. We also have our beetroot, and I don't have that much beetroot, so I couldn't plant that much inside this building. But I think that is okay, as beetroot isn't that really useful in my opinion. But over here we have our lovely horse stables, and I took so much time designing this because I wanted it to be perfect. And I think the moss really ties it in as well, and also all of the azalea stuff that we have. Now we have one of my horses. Hello, horsey. Um, it's a sheep, by the way. And look at how fast this horse actually goes. It is pretty fast. Look. Speedy. Woo! Um, but unfortunately, I couldn't get a name tag for this horse and name her. So, yeah, that's one of my horses. And this horse is another fast horse, but she can also actually jump high. But I don't have a saddle for her, so unfortunately, she won't have a saddle. But, yep, those are my two horses. And down here, I was actually originally going to plan, like, a kind of hall area, like, for, like, a town or something. But we didn't get to that, so unfortunately, that will not exist. Now, down on this, like, makeshift path I just made today, we have our Halloween-inspired build. Now, this was for my Halloween episode, which came out a few weeks ago on the 31st of October 2021. And look at how great this building is. I mean, um, these floating candles really actually tie it together as like a mystical witch's coven kind of building. 
because that's what I was actually going for. I was looking on the web again for some witches, huts and stuff, and actually one really did inspire me. And over here is actually our pumpkin patch, which is kind of scarce because I've been harvesting pumpkins. Yeah, that's our pumpkin patch. And let's go inside of this building. But again, look at how great it looks. Now, down here is our nether portal, and I think it looks so good. I mean, look at it. It just is a very good design, and I love the amethyst crystals and everything. Oh, the sounds. Oh, it's just so great. I love the little twinkling kind of sounds that the amethyst blocks actually make. And also, I love the resemblance of the amethyst geode inside of this building as well. A little bit like a, like a cave dug out into the side of a mountain and you have amethyst geo inside of it and by the way this is diorite if you were wondering what it was and then we have some calcite smooth basalt we also have some of our amethyst clusters we have like big and medium and they actually did find them inside a geode just down there like you know in the Oh, warm ocean biomes. I also found some more of the amethyst blocks in those geos as well and they actually did forget to put a path. Um, yeah, there we go. We have a path into the amethyst geo right now. That is actually my fault. I was intending to put a path there but I actually didn't. But yeah, that is the farm area tour complete. But look at how great our world has actually grown. I'm actually kind of sad to leave the world now. Okay, so we're going to make some maps of this world to end of the series. As in, we're going to lock the maps in and they will never be changed. Got the second half of the map right here. We're going to make it. Bam. There we go. And let me go quickly fill in this map. Going to place our item frames right here. And we're going to place our maps just like here. So yep, that's our maps, but let's just go and lock them in as they will never be changed again. So lock this map. We're going to place it in. Oh, there we go. We're also going to lock this map as well. And bam, we've locked the map. So now we have it, our lock maps. And let's write episode right here. Oh an extra space and then 14 right here as this is the name of the episode but yeah that is our maps look at how much we have changed and admittedly this is not episode one yes this is not episode one this is episode two i forgot to actually make a map for episode one so i unfortunately had to do that but look at how much it actually changed from episode one to episode nine and then from episode 9 to episode 14. I mean, it's come along so well. Now, we have our lovely two dogs, Rosie and Dandelion. Hello, guys. I love you so much. And do you want a treat before we go? Oh, you're still giving love hearts to me. I'm going to miss you guys very much. But I am hoping to get some of the you two into my new world as well. But yeah, this is Rosie and Dandelion, everyone, and I hope you enjoyed having them in this world. Bye, Rosie and Dandelion. Okay, so I think that actually is it for our world tour today. I love this world so much. So yeah, guys, I think that's going to be it for today's video. If you like my content, make sure to like and subscribe. I had lots of fun doing the world tour with you guys and showing you around my lovely world. I mean, it has expanded so much since episode 1 and I'm really happy with what we've done. We have done many buildings and we have also done a lot of things in this world that we have achieved. But unfortunately, we're going to have to start over and we're going to go to 1.18 and I'm so excited to actually explore it with you guys. And remember, very big surprise in this episode and do not miss out on it. But yeah, this will be the last episode from this world and I really hoped that you enjoyed this world tour and also this whole entire series overall. So yeah, for the last time, bye! And see you in Minecraft 1.18 guys!